the Red Legion. Oh, they'll have to use regular old weapons. Those we can handle. Nice job. Okay, so I just finished the step for actually dealing with strikes. I did uh, the two Vex strikes and the two Cabal strikes, and now I can just go back to the Drifter, right? Let's see. All right, we got everything we need, kid. Uh, if you want to bring it all up to the derelict, I maybe left a message for you up there. Another activity, mystery and potential via the Gambit Director and search the derelict for the tape the Drifter made for you. Oh, we don't go back to the direct. We don't go back to the Drifter directly. We go up here. The Gambit Director for aha, mystery and potential. The derelict is vast. The hall is unknowable. Take time to examine your surroundings. All right, I'll take a look around. I like that this is a mission that you get after you've done at least one reckoning successfully. So we're looking. At, we're gonna take a look around after we've shot up a lot of the place. Although this one's looking more around the derelict directly, I think. rather than the area completely owned by the knights. Uh, all right. So this is where we uh we would jump into the portal to get transported to another area. It's kind of spooky. Did he make this or did he just kind of find it? I'm not really sure what the drifter's up to here. But I'll take a look around. I saw this little passage over here. This might lead somewhere. Hey. God, this ship has to feel so empty if you just live in it by yourself. See, I can say that's like one nice thing. About our super small ship. Yeah, I doubt we ever be like, man, it'd be great if there were like 50 or 100 people in here. Definitely wouldn't work out. Oh. There's his little pet. Oh, he's, he likes some, some comforts. Good for him. He doesn't just sleep on a metal cot. It's a metal cot with a bedroll. As my new partner, a couple things about me you should know. I've been pitting a lot of very bad people against some good ones. Could end up being trouble for the city. And there's already been some collateral damage. Eh, hand on my heart, I regret anyone who takes a dirt nap on account of me. But I didn't survive by being indecisive. Through every age and era, Drifter's done what he had to. The Warlords and the Iron Lords taught me that the light is no gift. It brought hell to Earth. And when we begged to die, it said hell no. They say the Dark Age was untold suffering. I could tell you a lot. Yeah, maybe next time. Go find the other tapes. I made you tapes. <laughs> okay. He wants me to go find other tapes, and he's willing to give me some information, and he has an interesting view. He sees, the Drifter sees the light as a curse. I'm wondering, I'm wondering just how dark his viewpoint really is about this. <laughs> now, you see, I think the light is going to be whatever we make of it. Okay, all right, all right, uh, that's a bad area to go. I just wanted to see if there's anything else I could little investigate before we just leave. Um, let's see. Visit the Drifter in the Annex of the Tower. You heard it. You heard the tape? Ah, damn. Damn! I didn't expect you to just do- go do it! Listen, kid, I got the jitters about this. Come see me before you go looking for the rest of those stupid tapes. All right. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> we just, he's like, wait, shit, uh, you know what, maybe I don't want you to look, or like, listen to those tapes. Well, Drifter, you've gotten my interest, and so obviously I'm just gonna go and listen to them. I... It's interesting to know that he, he's from, like, the Dark Ages, 
Uh, that puts him, that puts him pretty old. Obviously, he told us that he's pretty damn old, but that's, that's literal, like, fucking first Guardians created level old. And... Mengs, he's been through some shit. Hi, Drifter. You've been my crew for a while, brother. Gambit, Prime, all the good work. And against my better judgment, I trust you. Just a little. But if you're gonna keep hanging with old Drifter, there's some things you should know. I've prepared a little survival guide for you. From the ultimate prepper himself. <laughs> That's me. Step one, get your ass to Europe. All right. The drifter is, is jittery, but earnest, as he tells you that he's come to think of you as a friend. One of his only friends, at that. To, the, to that end, the awkward tape he left you in the derelict is the first in a series of tapes that is supposed to impart wi words of wisdom from the ultimate prepper himself. Begin your search in the European de uh, dead zone. Drifter has left a series of personal messages for you in the EDZ. Naturally, he won't tell you where you can find them. Search the EDZ for the tapes Drifter left you. One tape can be found near computer consoles in each of the following patrol uh, areas and lost sectors. All right. So it's basically just run around patrol zones and law sectors for each area. Gotcha. Now I I have a guide that shows the exact locations of everything. And to be honest, something I'm, I'm going to use that. I, I'm, there's a point where like after I've been in, you know, like a week, like a month or two late to something, I don't really need to sit there and examine every single corner of Earth just for the sake of it. So, I'm gonna... We gotta go find those tapes. Alright. So we have... We have... One... Tape in Zytrosland. I'm gonna try- I'll, I'll give it one try to like look around, see if maybe I can find it without the help of the guide. But I don't- I don't know what I'm looking for. I just know computer terminal. Maybe he's bold enough to stick it near Devrim. But it's gonna be awkward because it's probably another one of those like, oh, you have a ghost icon, look around you kind of things, and then... Be careful out there. Well... We're probably going to see that a lot. To be easy, 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 to be well. easy, easy, elite chest, and easy, easy. Wow, thank you, Daily Bounties. One shot. One yeah, I haven't explored it. I haven't, like, scanned every single thing. So this, this could have had something on it. And it might just end up being the ghost be talking to me about general lore things, which would be fine, too. Oh, look at the little level four guardian. Oh. They're little baby kinder guardians. Now, just because they're level four doesn't mean they're new to the game. But, considering things, there's probably a good chance that they are somebody who is just starting out. And by saying considering things, I mean like they didn't like change the emblem. One of the first things I would do once I've been to the tower, like once. Oh wait, I guess you wouldn't be in the tower because the tower is like end of the game. Still, you get access to your emblems and shit at the, uh, the farm before you come out to here. And I wouldn't want to look like just some newbie. Although I wonder, can you equip your titles while you're like a level one guardian? You probably can. I don't have that. I don't want to put in the, the work that they want me to put in for those titles. Big pass. Big pass. We're keen to acquire a few resources from the field. 
Your assistance in this matter would be greatly appreciated. All right. So let me track this mission. So that way I can pop it up every once in a while. Although, no, that doesn't help me. <laughs> tapes discovered! Uh, dead one. That's it! Just tapes discovered. Computer terminals. Like I would remember the every single location. Is this it? Literally just computer monitors and uh, this is it? Dark Age was different times. We had no city. Warlords and Iron Lords tore up the whole world trying to prove who was better. What was worth fighting for. I was busy trying not to starve. You ever go hungry till you keeled over? We did that a lot in the Dark Age. Our ghosts would bring us back. Still hungry. Really pissed me off. There's one time I found a village to hide out in. A bunch of huts, really. Good people. They gave me work, and I kept my light a secret while I performed some minor miracles. Then the Iron Lords rolled into town. My ghosts stayed out of sight, and they were none the wiser. They cut a deal with us as if we had a choice. Paid us to let them hide out till some warlords showed up, then ambushed them. We all got caught in the crossfire. My neighbor's kid told me something that still bounces around my head to this day. Right before the light went out in her tiny eyes, she whispered, I can't feel anything. Yeah. I couldn't either. That's all I got. Cut the tape. It's interesting that our ghost isn't going to have anything to say to this. I guess we can really make uh, our ghost say anything really satisfactory to it. We just have to form our own opinions on things. But all right, damn. Now I have a, I, I, I have a suspicion on who the drifter is. Let's be honest here. You, you get, you know, you, you get Dredgen title from doing shit for him, and ooh, it could be symbolic, or I don't know, he could just be Dredgen Core. <laughs> <laughs> he could just straight up be that guy because that would be the mo one of the most interesting things for him to be Rather than just another general Alright, All right. we got the Trostland computer terminal and that means now we have to head to uh, Lost Sector and other general areas and those I'll probably just jump cut to Because it's gonna be me just kind of randomly looking around. Oh, hey, I got a Cade Lord. Still never got all of those. Yeah. All right, let's see which law sectors they're in. Is it just literally all of them? I'll find out. Scavenger's Den. All right, what an apt name for a place to hide a tape. Pretty sure we've done this law sector before on the PlayStation 4, but I've never done it on PC. At least according to the map. So right now I'm just following a general guide that will take me to place to place. Although I might not actually look at the specific location where the computer terminals are. It could be in this area. It could be in the next one. I'll just have to kind of like yeah, no, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not about to faff out with this. Uh, scavenger den near ledge in the back left. An open cave. Oh gosh. Just get the unit to listen to the Trifters camp. Here. Uh, okay, alright. So it's not super duper hidden. I think it's over here. Nice. Hey kid, it's me, the Drifter. And this is How to Drift, Part 3. Never trust your ghost. He's a tool. A connection to the light. Ouch. Not a friend. Not in any way that counts. You think he's saving your hide, bringing you back? He's saving his own. 
I don't care what your guardian dogma says. I don't care what your little buddy has told you. We don't know what ghosts are. They sound friendly, right? But I met some ghosts in the Dark Age. Would kill you for a blue ingram and spit on your grave. Really? All so they could grow their light a little more. Make a stronger connection to the Traveler. Whatever the hell that means. You're an idiot if you think those ghosts aren't still around. Take mine, for example. And it creeps me out. Cut the tape, ghost, and don't give me that look. You know where we stand. <laughs> I, I feel bad for his ghost. Oh my god. Uh, let's, let's back out of here. But that makes sense. He doesn't, uh... He doesn't care much for the light as 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 a gift. So it makes sense that he doesn't trust the ghosts. Obviously, we should always be a little bit cautious about the ghosts, because while I'm sure they aren't like, I'm sure the vast majority of them, they have personalities. They have their legit sentient computers. Uh, that would be the right kind of way to, to, to put it. So, I think, I think most of them do care about us as individuals and care about humanity. But yeah, no, he does bring up a good point in that they were literally created by the Traveler for a purpose. And they're gonna try and fulfill that purpose. And they're gonna keep trying to fulfill that purpose. Sometimes, whether we want, want that or not. Although I'm curious how many ghosts had guardians that didn't want to, like, come back, and they actually granted those guardians that wish. Because we know that ghosts can lose their guardians and still just be around. And I'm pretty sure ghosts can be transferred. But it's, like, incredibly rare. And or maybe it's never happened, actually, but it feels like a thing that probably could happen. Otherwise, the ghost is just kind of out of luck, right? If you're gonna hang with me, you need to know about the shadows of Yore. They follow the edicts of a very bad man named Dredgen Yore. And what are his shadows after? Everything the light can't provide. I thought they could help me find an answer to the battles of light versus light that raged during the Dark Age. But the longer I flew with them, the more I saw they're blind as all those who follow the Traveler. One albatross for another. I was done with them. And that title I gave out, Dredgen? I did it to piss them off. Draw the shadows out where I could see them. Worked like a charm. <laughs> I love all you little guardians. You're so forthright, so eager to please. That make you angry? Good. Use it. I mean, it's not wrong about that, that we do a lot to just kind of jump in and get a title or serve a purpose. But as somebody who's never gone for the Dredgen title from Gambit, ever, Meh. <laughs> I didn't work anything for you, buddy. Yeah, it just really wasn't, wasn't really my thing. Although that's not his fault. That's the other Guardian's fault. Because once we get into like a PvP situation, me and the other Guardians... Relationships vary, right? Randoms. That's really what it comes down to. Okay. The next one is at Winding Cove, which is over here. Uh, it's next to... Bash travel point? Maybe it's over here? No? Okay, it seemed like it could be. Just got off the comms with Tyra. That woman sure knows her history. She's looking for any lost Golden Age tech you run across. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, well, I'm glad they will suddenly pop up on these enemies now. So where, maybe it's up at the point that Zer pops up at. That kind of has like terminal looking things around it. Uh, 
right, no. Apparently, apparently I just know. All right. Best travel point on the mound beside the west or the winding cove travel point. Ooh, that's what I hear then. <laughs> it was straight up like, maybe you should just fast travel here. So, would it be back here? That's convenient. Thanks, Drifter. You can't be the Drifter's partner and not know about Shin Malfa. The man with the golden gun is still out there. He's a hero. The stuff of legend. Naturally, he's after my ghost. He wouldn't be the first. But everyone and their grandma has a malfeasance hand cannon by now. <laughs> I think we're okay if Mr. Malfa ever shows his face. He follows the light like a zealot. And he ends all those who would consort with the dark because of one man who went rogue. It's not his golden gun you should be afraid of, kid. It's his idea that one man can decide he makes the rules and when you cross him, he can take everything from you. Doesn't sit right with me. Never will. Yeah, but you're probably a little bit biased. I mean, you've probably had the most interactions with him. Out of anybody. I don't know. Is he Dredgen? Is he Shin Malfur? I, uh, there's some lore. There's a lot of lore I don't know about with Destiny. Mostly because a lot of it's, it's a lot of it's in the background. For, I'm sure there are a lot of people who, like, don't know anything about Dredgen, or she'll mention Malfur, and they're just like, What the fuck's being talked about? Who? What? And that's who these tapes are aimed at for. Which is also good, because I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty much there as well. Alright, next tape is over here at the region. These are thankfully not too far away, so I don't really have to do too much jump gun. We can just kind of chill out and say our thoughts for each kind of tape. So, I might be in this cave? Because it mentions a lost sector called Excavation Site 12, and I don't have that on my map. Which would make it the only other lost sector in this area that, uh, yep, there you go, that I haven't gone through. My eyes! Alright. They're gonna blind me with light. I'll blind them with light. Okay, that guy's actually moving with a test. I'll even be. I wanna keep my super going as long as possible, and that's not gonna happen with the guy who just sits there and takes all the hits. Well, that was disappointing. Finally tossed my grenade at after all this time. Ah! Oh my god, damn. <laughs> he fucking shredded me. I was gonna go punch him in the face so I could shotgun him. He didn't give a shit. Wow, Prime Engram. Maybe I'll just, uh, take it. It's one of those situations where I have to kind of begrudgingly take it. Because it's not like I'm going to get a level up or anything from... from the world. From while we're here. Mighty kind of the Vanguard to let me sleep in the Annex. Doesn't get cold down there? Much? Do I trust them for it? Hell no. They're getting people killed just like the Iron Lords. Yes, people. Like you and me. Just cause we got the light doesn't mean we ever stop being that. Don't let them tell you otherwise. And that mission statement of theirs? Protecting the city? Yeah. 
Humanity's done, kid. You can't save them. Even if you could wrap a ward of dawn around this whole town, they'd start dying all on their own. Every single one you save becomes just a memory. I don't need any more of those. Ether Servitor en route to reinforce the line. I trust your expertise. You'll get there. <laughs> All right, Devrim, Devrim kind of cut off the drifter there. That's really awkward, but... Uh, God, drifter, you have such a, a cynical point of view on things. Now, I'm biased in two ways. Obviously, one, we're a guardian, and uh, we care about about using the light to save humanity, and two, I'm a human. Both in-game and out-of-game, so, you know, kind of like would, would like humans to survive. Because, yeah, you could just hate guardians and go forward with only them, but I, I think humanity as a civilization is just, uh, keeping them around and, and building us back up is probably the better idea. It's a tough path, a hard path, but I think it'd be worth it. He's just, he's just had a bad time, a rough time. Me, we've had a better time. Although we'll see what ends up happening in the future. Now our next message is in the flood chasm. It's over here. It seems like the ghost indicator for these are pretty big, by the way. So I probably don't have to worry about like accidentally missing them too much. Hey, fallen! I can finish my bounty or my little mission here that's been sitting there too long. Or not. I'm not getting shit. My patrol! What are y'all doing up here? The lost sector boss is back here. But he had so many guards just sitting in the back. God, that fire is so slow. That had to have been nerfed. I thought the city had made you all soft. But there's this hardliner, a warlock named Anor. Pretty sure she's trying to kill me. She crashed a handoff between me and the shadows of yore in Midtown. My uh, buddies took a hostage, and she took out a city block getting them back. Some people didn't make it out. <laughs> How's that for hypocrisy? She jumped the shark on that one. I would have talked them down. No one had to get hurt. I hope the Vanguard are happy. I heard word from hunter dens across the city. This honor has been building a crew to look into me in the shadows. Bunch of clowns. One of them is this guardian, a hero of the Red War. Just like you. One of Cade's friends. Just like you. A gambit regular, except they're a snitch. Have been all this time? Okay, cut off. Maybe... Maybe I need to stop kind of like wandering around. I'm gonna assume that was the last, the last line. Or maybe it got cut off, I'm not sure. The last one is... I think up... Up here? Let's see. Sky Dock 4, Lost Sector in the Sunken Isles. Yeah, okay, that means I gotta abandon my... my patrol mission here. Injection rig approaching, Guardian. You know what to do. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, 
still not, unfortunately for the drifter, I'm not literally 100% behind him. <laughs> I, I work with the information that I've got, and I try to make the best decision possible, but that might not always be the case. Go below the large cabal ship into the lost sector. All right. At least this is... That's what, that's what all these different DLCs and, like, content drops make us do. They go through a bunch of areas that maybe we did do beforehand. A lot of lost sectors or straight-up missions, side missions I never did after beating the story. Oh, I think I did all... Maybe I did all the lost sectors on the PlayStation 4. I have vague, like, subconscious memories of running down here into this lost sector. But obviously, not on, not on console. I really do wish that we had been able to just transfer our saves. It's interesting because I think they, an article came out uh, and someone, someone either from Bungie, either like either still working there or maybe not, said that the reason we didn't, couldn't transfer saves is because of Sony. And that sucks. I can believe that. Not being able to transfer from PlayStation 4 to Xbox or PlayStation 4 to PC. Uh, that was really me. Especially considering that, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense if a lot of things are stored server side, even just for the sake of having veteran status on PC. Having characters in the story recognize that we are have been around and that we have knowledge of things, I liked that aspect of going through the story on PlayStation 4. And then doing it again on PC was like, oh, well that sucks. And then going from PlayStation 4 to PC, that was like a good like 100 hours. I never, that I can't get back. That doesn't carry over. And it was for an arbitrary decision. And I hope that change is going, going into the future. You know, I hope in Destiny 3, well, Destiny 3, if Destiny 3 doesn't come out on PC immediately, I'll be pretty annoyed. But if it does end up coming out like PlayStation 4, Xbox first, uh, I have higher hopes that maybe we'll actually be able to get what we need. Get the... Get the transfer data. So if I do put in 100 or 200 hours into the damn game... I don't get completely screwed. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Where's the computer for this? I should probably look at the picture. Oh, it's like the middle... Terminal thing. made it to the last part of my little seminar. <laughs> you caught me without much else to say. Already talked your ear off. But, I guess there is one thing. I want you to know that you're the closest thing to a wheel horse I've had in, oh, a thousand years. I can see you making that face like you just swallowed some scorn blood. Wheel horse is an expression, kid. It's dark age, for we're tight. That's what you kids say, right? So here's something I never had the chance to tell anyone else on account of they're dead or trying to kill me. Don't give in to hope. That gets you killed. Take every day as it is. Trade your jump ship for a long-range hauler and see the universe while you can. I want the best for you, kid. And you won't find that in this system. Speaking of which, the Collapse wasn't the last extinction-level event to hit humanity. Old Drift has seen another one coming. Everything I'm building in the Nine Realms is preparation. There's a few seats I'm saving. One of them is for you. If you want it. Hmm. Old Drifter, I am interested to see you what's to come, but uh, I think I still have a lot that I want to do. After hearing everything Drifter has to say, you feel compelled to visit him. <laughs> yeah, I was, probably, I was probably about to say, like, I, I could probably go talk to the Drifter. 
And well, we have a mission reason for it, but before I do that, let me go back and dismantle some things because boy oh boy did I get a lot of blues from the Lost Sectors and I think it deleted shit in my Postmaster because of that. So that sucks. Oof. Oof. Okay. I hate the Postmaster system. I really do. So I had some 250... To 257 gear in here? That was like armor. And it's gone now! To 6 630 gear. To 630 blue gear. That I never in any kind of want would have taken. Or some of this other shit that I, I, I don't want. So that like, that like de-levels me. <laughs> that straight up like de-levels me because of the way the system works. That I no longer have those items in my, my vault space. And that's on me for, for not just like immediately throwing them into, into my vault. But God, I mean the fucking, everything about the inventory system sucks in this game. I would- I- I, I, I don't- I don't want to have, like, 700 fucking no items. <laughs> but... Everything- because of the red- I hate the random roll system. I- I like the concept of the random roll system. I hate actually having the random roll system. What can I do for you, Warlock? It means I have, like, three to five different variations of the same fucking item. Sometimes up to ten variations of the same item, because I'm never gonna get the exact thing that I want. Because there's no way to, like, All actively re-roll those things anyway. Take a look. Which is annoying. Vigil for Saint-14, what is that? Welcome back. This is... Uh... That's an okay-looking ornament. We don't care for this. This... Can stay here. Bye. This will I'll actually. I'll probably end up dragging it into the vault. I just. <sighs> if I were to go into Destiny 2 without having like Destiny Inventory Manager, I'd go insane. There's so many convenient features about Destiny Inventory Manager, or like the general third-party apps or the first-party apps that reveal just how bad the system is for managing fucking loot. Ugh. We understand each other a little better now, huh, kid? Just be careful. Seems everyone who knows me is either trying to kill me or... <laughs> dead. A lot of people coming for my ghost. You're sticking your neck out by getting so chummy with me. But hey, if that day comes, they'll eat bullets from both of us. Trust. Trust? All right. The Drifter seems relieved that you're, will you're still willing to talk to him after you've heard everything he had to say. As far as the Drifter is concerned, the two of you are part of a crew now. If anyone crosses either one of you, then they likely will, given Drifter's extensive list of enemies. Well, he's got your back, and you've got his. Alright. Honor Among Thieves. We defied... <laughs> we defied... the Vanguard. The Drifter slips you a package on the sly, giving you a nod of acknowledgement. He's great th grateful that you have his back. A package to reward you for your loyalty to the Drifter during the season of the Drifter. He gave us the hand cannon trust. That's pretty funny. Oh my god, my consumable inventory is full too. I need you alive, brother. Be careful. Uh. Uh. Oh, you know what? I just remembered that Zer is at the. Actually, do I still have Zer's other challenge? No, because I got that challenge on the Titan. Anyways, Zer has yes. missions for doing. Uh, Zer has has invitations this season now, and they're basically little little tasks, little challenges to go into like strikes, kill a certain number of enemies, and then I don't actually know what the reward for it is besides more story and lore. But I could have grabbed it. And while I was doing the strikes, let me see what he has. Zer, buddy, yeah, 
you weirdo. I wonder if Zer is told. I, I feel Zer is gonna die at some point. He's just off to the side, and we're gonna be like, we're gonna go to Destiny 3, and we're just gonna watch Zer get shot. My will is not my own. That's what I feel at least. Okay. This would have been Lake of Shadows. Okay, I didn't do the Lake of Shadows one, so that's fine. And he has absolutely nothing that I care for. It's all year one gear. Hell. One Pass. Pass, sir. Pass all the way. All right. So with the Drifter storyline technically done, I don't know if that was everything that I could do with him. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a chance to let, let a friend level up the account to like the 690 to 700 range, and then when we're back in the next couple of Destiny videos, I will be tackling the challenges to get the Outbreak Prime, maybe some of the other side missions, maybe I'll play some higher level Reckoning. Um, but for now, I don't want to throw in the like 50 to 100 hours it's going to take for me to get to like level 700. So, be right back.